Greater Good Radio. Connect, learn, heal, and grow. I tell the story to all the new hires at the company. Mm -hmm. And this is an important story. It's really more about the mandate for change. And so what value does a 22-year-old offer in that situation? I think really zero, literally zero, right? I had no fashion experience, but I had a series of these kinds of things happen. And this was, was probably one of them. But the short version of the story is that an elderly woman's husband had passed away, was having an open casket funeral, and wanted to bury her husband in a brand new long sleeve Tory Richard shirt with particular polyester kind with the besom pocket. And you're nodding along. If you're from Hawaii, you know, and you're of our age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a uniform for a certain generation of customers. If you see Frank Fossey, who was our mayor, he's always wearing a Tory Richard. Jack Lord, who was the Hawaii Five O actor, they all wore this era shirt, which we hadn't made at this point in the 90s. We hadn't made in like 10 years or maybe more. And she said, well, I was just in Liberty House and they didn't have any. Really, she had probably hadn't set foot in a Liberty House in 20 years. But to her, it was like she was just there and she was desperate. She wanted it to be a long sleeve shirt, a particular kind, because she wanted to cover the dialysis shunt in her husband's arm. And we did the right thing. We actually made a custom shirt like in three days so he could be buried. But for me, it was the most prophetic kind of customer interaction I could have in that our customer was literally dying off and being buried in our product. And if that's not a mandate for change, I don't know what is, right? It's a, it's testament to the kind of brand loyalty that we had, but it also reflected that we weren't relevant today. And so it was easy, especially in a time of crisis, to make radical changes to product because you had nothing to lose, right? This old cliche about keep doing the same thing over and over again. So it was a really easy debate internally at the company where we, people would say, oh, well, well, people still buy this. I was like, yeah, but they're being buried in it. So maybe it's time we come up with some new things. So we've gone through these evolutions. We don't make the same thing, as I said earlier, the same product that we made 70 years ago. So how do you stay relevant? Well, you, there's these periods that you have to go through a little bit of a gut check where, hey, things are changing. We should change too. If you resonate with Greater Good Radio, please join our community at www.greatergoodradio.com where you can get access to exclusive content and offerings. Hope to see you soon.